Hi everyone, it's Rosie and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to wish you all a happy and blessed new year and um, I just wanted to come on here and I have my little happy new year hat. Um, I didn't come on, uh, do a video yesterday, wasn't really feeling up to it, um, feeling kind of down because you know not being with the family and everything but Today, I'm feeling a little better, and so I wanted to share my Dollar Tree video with you and just share a little, few little sentiments about the new year coming up and, you know, what my plans are and such. So I wanted to um, tell you that I am going to be doing a vision board. Um, if you guys don't know what a vision board is, it is where you put your... Um, you could put like pictures and things or stickers, whatever, of um, goals and ideas uh, that you have for the coming year. So I was going to do that yesterday. Again, I was working too, so I didn't get around to doing it. But um, I am going to do one today uh, just to get the new year started on the right foot. And I also want to share with you a couple things that I am wishing for the new year. <laughs> So, um, yes, the first one is, of course, I would like um, all my friends and family and everyone um, in my sub community, my little subbies here, <laughs> um, to be all safe and happy this coming year. Um, and I also wish that we would, you know, go put away with or, you know, we would end the... Um, what's going on the c word david you know the dreaded uh covid so um i wish that would go away um i think everybody can agree with that um and also i just um want to do different things with my channel um i want to do a few more and like hopefully reach um a lot more subscribers <laughs> reach a lot more people and share you know what i do like um just not dollar tree videos but unboxings and uh, maybe do a few thrift hauls when i find it at a thrift store and maybe upcycle it whatever um if you're interested in seeing that and just um trying to uh stay positive in this you know kind of negative times uh, i know we could fall into that trap uh, i have before and unfortunately you know uh, it's not easy for any of us. So I just wanted to come on and maybe um, share some positive things that I would like to do in the coming year and maybe help others So um, in the process. <laughs> so without further ado, um, sorry for the long intro, I'm going to get into this Dollar Tree haul. So I found a lot of amazing things and um, at the Dollar Tree, uh, Valentine's Day things, uh just household items. So without further ado, I'm going to get started. <laughs> so the first few items I want to share with you um, is a face shield. Now, I don't know how well this works or, you know, what, how you would put it on. I think it has like a foam thing on the back. I mean, on the front here. So let me just take this out because I'm curious. Not that I would wear one, but I just wanted to show you guys it. Um, okay, so it does have an elastic. And you put it like this. Ooh, I'm an alien. <laughs> I would look like a crazy person with this on. But anyway, not crazy, but... Anyway, I guess you would wear this with your mask underneath. So, like this, and then your mask. So, you can doubly be um, secure so that is what I found which was very interesting to find sorry for my reach at the Dollar Tree didn't know they would carry these so that's a good deal because these can run on Amazon like one they want like $15 for them so I thought this was a good buy I don't know how long it would last and this is a really cute face mask with the leopard print, I thought that was so cute. And these are like the thinner ones, but uh, actually this one is a little bit thicker. But um, they do have thinner ones also, but I like this one. 
with the little leopard print. It's very girly. I mean, if we're gonna have to wear face masks for God knows how long, um, we might as well look fashionable while doing it, right? <laughs> so, um, yes, more items along those lines. I thought these are pretty cool. I mean, I guess you could use these for glasses, maybe adjust it or fix it to where you could wear it as gla for glasses, but this is what I found. I thought this was cool. It's a face mask um, extension lanyard. So when you take off, like if you work in an office where you have to take, you know, you're going to eat or, you know, eat lunch or something and you want to take your mask off or you're going outside to have a breather, um, you could put, you know, attach this to your mask like so. Like there's like lobster clasps on there. You could clip it on to each side and um, that way you can you know, keep it on and you won't fly away because those paper ones, you know, those little flimsy ones can fly away. So <laughs> um, at least you have this and you can just put it down and then when you're ready to put it up, you know, like the glasses holders. And then I found this one. This was pretty cool. Uh, it has different colors on it and it's kind of like a braided one. So this is another uh, face mask lanyard. Pretty cool. So making, you know, DTs coming in clutch, trying to get us fashionable for our, you know, everyday mask wearing. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, all right, let, is, let me get into some random things. Now, this is home decor. <laughs> and I want to put this by my desk. Uh, I'm working from home. I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from home uh, these days. And during, you know, whatever's going on. So... Um, I'm going to put this by my desk. <laughs> Monday should be optional. And then when I go back to work, I'm going to bring this with me <laughs> when I go back into the office. So I thought this was really cute. And it is that pressed particle board, but and it's like a little quote or something, a little bubble. So Monday should be optional. <laughs> Very cute. Along home decor, I found this. This is more for Valentine's Day or could be for whenever. And I thought this was so pretty. For a dollar, man, you can't beat that with a stick. Look at this, with this galvanized little um, heart. Isn't that pretty? And it has like, almost like a faux like shiplap in the back, like the faux wood. Gorgeous. I mean, I can't even get this whole thing in here. <laughs> Very pretty. Love that. And then another piece that we've got is this one. It says, love is patient, love is kind. Isn't that beautiful? I love the font on it, the lettering, and I love the pink. It's so pretty. Now, you can always, you know, take the sticker off the back and put whatever, you know, wording or anything you want. Or, you know, hey, you could keep this by your bed and at night and keep it as a weapon conk somebody over the head with it <laughs> just say but you know you can find many uses for it <laughs> uh i love this one it's really really pretty so this is definitely for you know long valentine's day line but you could put this year round out right gorgeous love it love it so another little home decor piece um i found is the this one here it's like a little shadow box almost you know what this reminds me of you know when um you would go to the library and they had those like uh cards to let you know like oh it's from this number to this number you could find this book or whatever you know i don't know it just gave me that kind of vibe <clears throat> but i thought this was so cute it says life is meant to be lived and they did have other ones. I forgot the sayings on them. But this is so cute in farmhouse. It could go on a tea or tray. You could leave it alone on a desk like that. But it is gorgeous. I thought this was so cute. Very, very cute. And, you know, this does not look like it came from the Dollar Tree. This looks like it came from, like, Hobby Lobby or something. So, um, and over there, you're going to pay a lot more. <laughs> so, I thought that was so cute. Yeah. And um, the next items, I, yeah, these are Valentine's ones. So this is a DIY rock painting kit. 
and it has like the little paint and it has a little kind of a little cement rock almost that in the shape of a heart I thought that was cool um, I would wouldn't use the paints in here I would use my own because they're kind of flimsy but um, or the paintbrush it's kind of wonky already but <laughs> I definitely like the rock here I mean, you could paint it a different color, make it farmhouse, uh, use maybe chalk paint, and maybe distress it a little bit. Whatever you want to do, put somebody's name on it. Um, bring this, you know, you could do this for a, in the cemetery, you could put somebody's name on there. A little heart for a memento for somebody. That would be beautiful. So I just picked one up just to see what it was like. Um, yeah. So I thought that was pretty cool. Never seen this before at the Dollar Tree. I think these are new, but that is pretty. So the next item I picked up for Valentine's Day are these pretty stickers. Now, aren't these gorgeous? Look at those little cupcakes with the little blingy uh, cherry on the top. <laughs> so adorable. And there's 18 pieces in this, and these are felt. They're all felt stickers. And you can use these in planners, uh, calendars, you name it. DIYs, whatever you want to do with these. They're so pretty. Put it on a card if you're sending it to someone or inside so it doesn't get messed up. So I thought these were so cute. They had other ones, uh, but I like the cupcake design better. <laughs> and I got a few more things, um, just random kind of stuff. I got more of the Post-it, actually the Post-it brand. I like the Post-it brand better than the Dollar Tree ones or the ones from Jot. They just don't work right. Um, and since I am working from home, I'm a kind of a, a snob for the Post-its. <laughs> if that's being a snob. But anyway, um, Post-it by 3M, and there's two packs in there. So there's 176 sheets in total. And I like the colors. They're pretty cool. <laughs> And then I got some Mod Podge. I'm planning to do a DIY with this. So I got Mod Podge just to um, do some crafts. And this is a staple. Every crafter has this, I think, in their arsenal of stuff. <laughs> so Mod Podge is really good. If you're going to do um, uh, like paperwork, you know, kind of put paper down or a picture and then you want to put this over it to seal it. So I thought this was good. And this is a small one, it's only two ounces, but you can't beat it for the buck. And then I got some pretty, uh, like silverware, but they're plastic cutlery. And there's two, let's see, 12 pieces. You get four of each, I got, or oh, three of each. Nope, four of each. <laughs> uh four of the spoons forks and knives so i got two packs of those aren't they pretty they look real i thought they were pretty cool you know in case we need it never know so i think yep that is it for this dollar tree haul and um like i said i just wanted to wish everyone a happy new year hopefully this year will be with um many blessings to everybody uh, hopefully, you know, things will be getting better. I'm praying that they do. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. And please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I would really love to have you as part of my little family here. And uh, also um, hit the notification bell on your way out so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, have a blessed day, everyone. Happy 2021. We made it this far. And God bless. Bye-bye.